Welcome back from a vacation weekend. I'm sure you all went probably skiing, water skiing, or up to the mountains, or to the pools, or the mall. They had great sales. Everywhere I kept seeing these signs saying, Memorial Day sale. Uh-huh, sure. Uh, but <laughs> my name's George Gary, and I've been doing these for a little while now. At 6.30, uh, we go live, and I tape them ahead a little bit so I can do things uh, quicker. And we don't have to rely on our internet because the internet sometimes wants to do games. And um, well, besides doing uh, these classes, I also uh, teach around the country, do uh, book tours, and I speak on different uh, uh, little things like uh, historical Hollywood is one of my uh, things I like to talk about. And uh, we've got uh, the pickles today, but before we get into the pickles, we want to introduce our cameraman that all of you got to see last Friday. And if you don't know what he looks like besides his thumb or his finger, um, that was your cue, Neil, to say, oh, you're going to get in the front? Oh, <laughs> oh, now Neil wants to be on camera a lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, wait, all of our shows are banked over at um, YouTube. Many of you asked where you got, get all the uh, recipes. Go on my website under the blog. They're all listed there. You can go on the archive and get everything. Even from when I did shows, uh, Mike and Maddie back in 1993 on ABC. And then all my morning shows of CBS San Diego are listed there. And we've got all sorts of recipes over there and I, it's great to hear from all of you around the country. I've uh, taught all over the world being on cruise ships for a number of years and I, uh, the only difference between right now and a cruise ship is they aren't on the water and uh, you guys uh, are at home but we would uh, do demos just like this. So I wanted to do pickling. I made pickles for the first time last year and what happened was is I made them I thought I was doing everything that I was supposed to. I was reading up on pickle making. And then when they came out of the jar, I only made four jars. Whenever I'm testing something, I do a small batch. Um, all of them were the limpest pickles you ever saw in your life. Well, I didn't want to waste the pickles, so I put it all in the food processor and repackaged it in this uh, to um, Pickle um, relish. relish, which is really good because Neil being German, he likes uh, sausages and uh, the relish is so good on it. So then I thought, well, I've got to learn how to do these correctly. And I kind of talked to, to a few people that I know that do canning books and stuff like that. And I realized my problem. I went to the farmer's market that we have on Wednesdays all the way in Santa Monica where I was born, which is about an hour and 10 minutes from my house. And that was on a Wednesday, and I didn't make the pickles till the weekend. Well, when you go to farmer's markets, same thing with peaches are a big thing. You gotta work with them that day or the next day because they're so ripe, they pick them fresh right from the vine and they will start deteriorating right away. So you, you, you work with it right then. So what I did is uh, I redid my whole recipe the way I did it, and it worked perfect. And the pickles were very crunchy. Also, you add a few other little things in it to make it crunchier. But I use ball canning jars, and these ones I use the quart that are pretty, uh, they're four-sided, so I can put them on the side when I'm adding the pickles. Here's pickle uh, chips, and then I have the pickle spears right here that uh, it takes about three cucumbers. So we went, I did, I, the poor farm that I get them from, Corona, California is where I live. And they have, um, the Corona family has farms in Riverside, which is about 20 minutes from here. And I was calling, I was emailing them once a week for about two months, trying to find out when their, their uh, cucumbers were coming into season. And finally, they said last night they were in, so they picked them fresh this morning. I'm packaging them tonight. And if you can see, I don't want Neil to do a close up, but behind me, they picked strawberries for me. So I'm gonna do some strawberry jam, but not on camera, because that is a process. So I don't want you to uh, ever think that you can't uh, pick, make pickles. It's so easy. And um, I did pickled carrots and uh, uh, pickled onions, almost the same, uh, and pickled garlic last year. 
So it depends on the spices and things like that. If you can boil water, you can make this. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to do this in two um, batches. I, I've got a lot here because I want to make all of mine up. But we get all of our ingredients ready, which I did some, uh, this doesn't add to it except color. So this is bell peppers that I've uh, uh, chopped up in different colors. I did some red, orange. Don't do green because you're gonna use the jalapenos. Now the jalapeno peppers look like this and I'm gonna keep the seeds because I want the seeds to um, add more heat to this. So what I do is I cut both ends and the reason why I have the rubber gloves on is because of the jalapeno peppers. If you don't have the gloves on, the oils will start burning if you touch your eyes or if you go to the bathroom, you think something's wrong. So I've had that in classes. So I cut the pepper completely in half, keep the seeds, flat surface, cut those in half, and then cut that in half again. So I have eight slices of pepper and you try to do this without you can do it either way, looking straight up at you and go half, same thing, or you. it's easier sometimes with this. Now you want these not to have uh, the cucumbers or any of the peppers to have wax on it. So you'll wanna make sure you get uh, natural peppers. And uh, here's our cucumbers, our pickling cucumbers. Now, what I do is I look through all of them and I wanna make See, that was a smaller one, and this is smaller. So the smaller ones I make into chips. The larger ones, those three large ones, I will make into spears. And depending on your jar, you'll look and see, okay, that'll work. If you get the larger, if they are coming out larger, then you might have to cut them in half. So let's do um, our spears first. And and we'll fill our jar up. So what I do with the, the spears is take both ends, I flatten out. Now these are very sweet, and Neil was eating one. How was it? I didn't Good. taste it. Not sweet though, but you know. Well, they're called sweet, but uh, the seeds are really nice. Nothing, the seeds aren't maturing and falling off of the fruit yet. So I do it in half. And then I'll do each of these in half. So I'll do eight spears, depending on the thickness. Now I'll turn it, yeah, look at it. Do you wanna eat the pickle like this? Or do you want a little bit half? So I'll turn it upside down back so I see the point. Go like that. And do the spears that way. But uh, I first started canning uh, just jams and jellies. Last week, if you looked at my Facebook, uh, I did uh, boysenberry, no, blackberry and raspberry because the uh, berries were on sale. I, uh, a lot of you know I used to work for Driscoll Berries for 10 years, so I got the berries for free all the time and I'd be canning. But uh, this week, I thought I'll do the strawberries since they were picking them right fresh from the field, and you can't get them any fresher than that, so I'll uh, do that tomorrow. I don't have time today since I'm doing this one. Now, so I do in half, and then each of these I do another half, so I've got eight pieces, and uh, this is, this in boiling water, it's the hardest part of the whole thing. Now. Before I put these in the jar, let me go into the liquid that we're going to put into the jar. We've got water, white wine vinegar, we've got granulated sugar, and we've got what's called pickling salt and canning salt. And this uh, comes from, um, uh, you can get it almost anywhere, but um, go online and uh, pick it up because it's a different, um, it's a very dusty salt and that's what you want. If you go with a, um, a regular table salt, these gloves are hard to, let me pour it in here and then I'll grab it out. So make sure you use the salt 
Thank you. Yeah, a little more. There we go. A little bit more. So pickling and canning salt. So if you go on the uh, ball canning website, you can see a lot of recipes and things like that. I'd say every year there's probably about four or five new cookbooks come out on canning. And uh, you just want to bring this to a low boil. That's it. And all the sugar and the salt is all blended. After that, you're going to put it into a pourable container. The other piece of equipment you would want is uh, two different sizes. They, they're kind of a neck um, funnel funnel that goes into the jar itself. And you'll have a large one and a small one, depending on your sizes of jars. Now, here's our jar. The reason why I like these for pickles is because they're four-sided. And I can put it on one side when I'm trying to pack this. And they don't roll like a circular jar. And pack this in. You want it tight, but not loose and not so tight that you can't get one of the pickles out. Because you're gonna be putting the liquid and all sorts of spices in between. And, but it takes about two and a half to three pickles. See, that's too tight. You can't get that last one in there, so leave it out. And then you're good. So there's that one. So all these, these, you can put them into a jar with the, um, the circular ones that we'll do. Now with this, I'm gonna use a magnum because I like them all the same size. Now you can do with a crinkle cut blade if you'd like, or just do the flat blade. And uh, I'm gonna do the flat blade on this. And I don't want real thin. About a fourth of an inch. Now, when I do this, I will cut one side flat, and the rest of it, I'll just uh, hold on to it. Now, really watch when you're doing this, because you'll, you'll do the first couple, and it goes quick, and you'll see it starts sloping, so I rotate the piece of cucumber I'm doing, and when I get close to the end, just use your nail or one of this, the guard, to do that last one, and that's it. So you're gonna do this. Again, it'll take about three to do. So let me do three, maybe four, because these are a little smaller than the uh, larger ones. And you, you'll have pickles in two weeks. Just let you know, it doesn't take that long to get the pickles to ferment. And this is the boiling of the water. That's it. One more pickle. Also, I, when I was picking out the uh, vegetables or, or the fruit today, I told Neil we don't want any curved ones. We want them all to be straight because if they're curved, then you're going to have all sorts of different shapes of pickle slices. Now, the hardest part is to get this in here in a spiral. So what I do is I put them in and if they start falling, I just take a knife and move them a little bit to get the, and I go around, see like that one, pop it down. So I'm trying to go in a spiral. And if one falls, push it off to the side. Now the jars, before you start, wash the jars. I use my dishwasher. I take everything out of it but jars and I turn it on the uh, one hour setting so they wash for an hour and they're hot when I start. It's best to have the jars hot when you're working with them. This is cooled down a little bit but by the time you get all of them done, you, the reason why the heat is because we're going to do use a packing uh, to pack and to seal the jars, and that you need to use pretty much, see, there we go, just like that. Let me do all these leftover pieces. Nah, I'll do it after. All right, so, there's all of our, I have enough for another jar of pieces. 
Now, what we have here is we have all of the spices that we're gonna use. We've got the bell peppers, jalapenos, uh, and then we've got peppercorns, mustard seeds, some dill weed. What's this one? Oh, a bay leaf. We need a bay leaf in each one. So, and then we've got what I call pickle crisp granules. And all this does is it keeps them crispy and it's a um, um, citrus, I believe. Does it say made in USA? I was reading all about it. It keeps the crunchiness in your pickles. Now, all you're using is a quarter teaspoon of this in each jar. So that's what's kind of confusing on these. We have that liquid and then each jar gets all of this stuff. So we just go through, I'll do six and then I'll do the next after. So each jar gets that, each jar gets a piece or a bay leaf. The bay leaf also helps keep them crunchy, which I thought, oh, that's fascinating. And then we're gonna go with um, the peppercorns. And after you get the peppercorns, you'll go with the mustard. That's on my corner on the mustard. All of this is in the uh, website. The mustard brown seeds, and you can use the hot mustard seeds if you want, or you don't want to use mustard powder, you do want the seeds. Then we've got a little bit of dill to make them dill pickles. And then we will take one jalapeno on each one and shove that in. So you want to make sure that one of these is gives you all of that flavor. That's another reason why you don't want um, to pack these so much because you want to be able to get one of these little spears in between. And if you can't get in between, it can sit on top also. And then what we will have is our color. So just a little bit. This really adds a little color in the, the jars when you're eating them. You noticed I, I did the, the pickles um, slices the other day, last week. Okay, and this is boiling now. So I'm gonna pour this into a pour little container. And this is all it is. It's not that hard to do. So you pour this You're gonna look at it because what it will do is it will start um, bubbling a little bit. Uh, the air po pockets will come up. So I don't fill it all the way up to the brim yet. I'll go back and refill it, the rest of it, with a little bit la left. And then I will do the next step, which is, uh, I've got a, a big thing of this all ready to go. Let me get it. <clears throat> a big batch I made before. So, and then next I'll show you how we do the canning. It's very simple how you do canning to get a vacuum pack seal on these. You're gonna take a big canner or a vessel filled with water. Well, see that one went to the top, which is all right. And you're going to bring the water to a boil. Oh, those don't have the stuff in yet. So now I'll go back, see how it settles a little bit. So I'll go back and get those. And you just want to go up to the brim of the the brim of each 
jar. This one. And I always put all of my dry stuff in before I, this is the last thing that goes in. So I'll put the uh, lids on these and uh, do one real quick to show you and we'll come back but this is the ring this is the lid you only use them once and they're wet when you use them and hot you don't twist it really tight just a little bit and then you can turn it upside down you can see how much liquid and all the seat all those look beautiful all get in there so then what we're gonna do is after I get all these done we'll come back and then we're going to put about six of these in a big pot of water boiling with a rack underneath because we don't want them to be sitting on the burner. And then what we'll do is let it boil for 10 minutes with a timer, turn off, keep them in five minutes, and we'll pull them each out with these tongs that are made for it. And then they sit and see, you can, this is popping now. This bottom, this top will completely suck in when I'm done. And if it doesn't, I have to redo the 10 minutes and the five minutes, but we'll get to that in a minute. So we'll be right back. Let me finish this stuff. All right, we're back. We've finished filling all of our jars. Now we're going to put them in the canner. There's automatic canners you can buy, but if you have a big pot, you can do this yourself. Now, here's a rack that it goes in. You put that down in the bottom. If you can boil water, you can do any of this. Now that rack doesn't keep getting pulled up and down. That just sits on the bottom. Some people will even take the rings, old rings, and put them all on the bottom so you have some movement of water going around. But I'm going to do it this way. You also have the tweezers. These you get in the canning department. And you're going to put, make sure this is boiling when you start, then you're going to put these in. And you want them to be submerge with at least an inch in I'm trying to see okay the handles are coming up so what I'll do the handles that you saw so I will use sometimes it takes two people to do this but while you're getting the jars in after you do it a couple times it's easy Up there and then here's and don't put them all on one side at first. Start around. You don't want them to uh, start falling. So you do two on one side, two on the other, and then see where the handles were? That's what I was trying to pull out. Right there. There's our, and then we have our last jar. So this does seven, really. It'll do one in the center and six in. You're gonna bring it back up to a boil. When it comes up to a boil, which will only take a few minutes, then set a timer for 10 minutes. Let it boil 10 minutes. Then you're going to turn it off completely, let it sit there in the canner for five minutes, and then they're done. So we're going to be back after the 10 minutes, sorry, and then after the five minutes. So we'll see you back in a few minutes. You hold on to these really tight, and they are nice and warm, and you'll hear popping in a minute. So let me get a few of them out, and then, and, well, it just popped. So. There's the ones with that. Then, after you get these out of here, well, let me take the rest. Once you get all of them out, put some more water in, and then bring it back up to a boil, put them in, wait another 10 minutes, and then you've got the five minutes. And it's all in the instructions, just to help you out. And they'll start, as soon as it cools down just a little bit, take a little bit of a, and then you'll see, you can hear the pop, you can press on them yourself, really, pop, but they normally, that one popped, and if it doesn't pop, 
then you have to do that 10 minute thing all over again. So I won't grab one of these because they're really hot, but we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining us in making pickles. Hopefully you guys make some pickles. Do the same thing with radishes, carrots, uh, the, any uh, turnips, you can do any of that stuff. So thanks so much and we'll see you tomorrow. And who knows what we're gonna be making, but take care and have a great one.